Ooh, what's up guys? Right, I've just finished filming with the new Canon EOS M50 and I thought I'd give it a quick review just to say some of the good points, the bad points, not that there's many bad points, but let's do this. One, two, three, listen. <laughs> So, being a Nikon user, I've never really used a Canon other than holding a friend's Canon and playing around with it and getting confused to hell. This Canon camera, super easy to use, it's exactly what I wanted for uh, doing vlogging and I, just, I couldn't be happier with this camera. One of the biggest selling points for me was the external mic jack on the side over here. It's something I've been struggling with for a while, it's trying to get better audio and that's why I held off on getting a lot of these types of cameras is because they just didn't have that external mic that you kind of need. So that was a must. Then on top of that, having this awesome flip out screen on the side here, which is easy to rotatable, you can do any which way you want and you can just keep an eye on what you're doing instead of having that big external screen like this guy propped on top of your camera, which adds even more weight to your camera. So it's just, it just makes it a hell of a lot better, a lot easier. Another great thing about the flip out screen to the side is it doesn't get in the way of any tripods or anything you wanting to attach to the bottom of the camera. It just flips out to the side. The only drawback to this is that when you do have a tripod or anything mounted to the side, especially if it's got like a, a bracket um, that places over here, you just can't get to the the battery or the memory card. For something like this one, you can still still get to it. I'm not quite sure you're gonna be able to get the battery out of that or into that. Let's have a look. Yeah, you just, you just can't get, with having that head there, you just can't get your battery in or out. So, I know what happened to me with the battery life, I had to, for the episode I just did up here, I think I had to charge the battery once, so it was a bit of a mission to have to strip everything down, get that uh, battery out, take the memory card, get everything off the memory card, so you just have to just be prepared for that, that's one of the downsides. Now the, the focusing options on this camera are just absolutely, they, they rock, they are, they are amazing. Um, compared to what I was trying to do with my Nikon, yes, the more expensive versions, they they got great autofocus and everything. My Nikon was, it, it was it always battled to focus, or it was keep on, on trying to focus, trying to focus. So, I mean, if I just blinked, it would refocus type of thing. With this camera, it's got this really cool follow focus, and it's it's so easy with the, with the touch screen. If you want to focus on a different area, you simply just touch touch the screen it'll focus on that and it, it's, it's actually really really amazing and it makes life so so much easier to know that the majority of it I won't see everything but the majority of it will be in focus which is really really great great feature of this the camera is it's it's so easy to use their um, touch screen with all the, the different prompts that you get and everything from it, it is, it's just super easy, even down to if you've just taken a video and you need to play back or delete that file, it's just, it, it's so smooth, it's unbelievable. The actual touch screen is just like any smartphone, it, it's really easy to use, it's nothing like, I think like the GoPro Hero 5, that thing is awful, I, I battle with that thing really, really badly, but this just rocks, it's just so easy, <laughs> delete, play back, really easy. Okay, so I won't be doing any photos with this camera, but it's just purely going to be video based for, for me. Um, I'll still be taking pictures of my Nikon, but having this camera, it's the stabilization in this is really, really good. I'm no expert or anything like that on it, but it's still good. you've still got a good grip on it and you can really try, you know, try to get those slow motion shots like this one over here, where I try to just pan around the squeegee and the, the basically the focus area and I thought it actually worked really well that was my first time of doing it so I, I was really happy with it the only real I think two drawbacks on on this camera is simply the, the battery power 
it only lasted me about, as I said, half of that episode where I had to stop and then the second negative thing was have to take everything off the, tri the, the, the base mount and the tripod all out so I can get access to the battery. Those are the only two points about it. Onto the 4K feature, I tried to switch on the 4K feature but it just zoomed in way too much. Um, for me, I'm not too sure whether it would be great to use the 4K feature but I'm not pretty, it just zoomed in way too much for me as I said and I don't want to have to spend more on adapters and lenses and everything just to make this work. I'm pretty happy with the quality that I got from the camera and it's going to be super fun to learn more as I progress with the camera which is it's going to be great. This is a super camera. Would I recommend it? Hell yes I would recommend this camera. Super easy to use. The only two drawbacks as I said was the battery life that only lasted me for about halfway through the episode which then brought me on to the, the other downfall which was with the, the mounts obviously in the center of here you just couldn't get access easily to the, the memory card or the battery on the back but that, that's it's such a small little detail this camera is awesome cool that about concludes the quick review of the Canon EOS M50 hope you enjoyed it if you're interested subscribe to my videos hit that like button and I'll catch you later <laughs>